Question for you, could brain implants soon replace schools? It may sound like something out of science fiction, but neuroscientists have been perfecting microchips that can help people learn and even restore memory. And they could have wide ranging implications for education in the coming decades. Futurist Nicholas Badminton joins me now for more with this month's edition of Future Friday. Nick, this sounds wild. Yeah. So where are we in terms of development or creating something like this? Yeah, this is real edge technology. We're, we're, we've been studying brain-computer interfaces for about 30, 35 years right now. And, and now we're, we're at the point where it's starting to become rea reality with very certain use cases of like being able to use our brain to control prosthetic limbs or being able to like write on a screen or control interfaces. This sounds like something that you see in science fiction movies. Yeah, absolutely. Um, science fiction turns into science fact, and we're seeing that every single day now. So could this soon replace schools? You mentioned yeah. a couple applications that sound real world, but what if, let's just throw it out there, what if you put in a chip in your brain and all of a sudden you know kung fu or yeah. you know French yeah. um, or even full curriculums? Could that happen? Yeah, so it, it, it seems sensible to me that skills could be uploaded into the brain, uh, but it's the, the application of the skills that we then need to learn. So you'd still have to go to France or, or go, go up into Quebec to, to really flex those, that, that muscle, you know? Okay. Um, we, if you're learning kung fu, you then have to condition your body so um, so it's, it's a fast track into being able to have these capabilities and um, why not right away when we mentioned this Anne Marie went dark <laughs> and yeah. she said but are, there are concerns that this could be used say in in wartime applications yeah. or in fighting or in conflict do you have those same concerns yeah that's where it will start and that's where it's been uh, been exercised and, and practiced um, up to this point right it always starts with military applications because they got the most money for research Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't make me feel any better at all. Yeah, no, so it's not a dark, dark thought. This is, this is where a lot of the, the innovations in the world come from, is military research, your, your mobile phone. It, all of the patents come from military research, so... Yeah. How would you go about controlling something with your mind is there is there like a, a calmness that needs to happen yeah. we, we were talking backstage and like we're like dogs with squirrels we're like we see all these different things going on we get distracted really easily does that impact do you think the ability to use this technology yeah it's the biggest barrier for you know us being able to control things with our minds people are being able to do it with drones uh, fighter pilots have been able to control fighter jets with with their brain as well but you have to do it in a very calm environment you're very focused on the activity when we start to think about uploading information and applying it in a certain way, we have to do that in a very busy world, and that's really where a lot of research is happening right now. Okay, lots of developments happening there. Kind of blows my mind that you just said that we've been controlling drones with our minds for a couple of years now. Yeah, absolutely. Nick, every time you come in, I don't, like, I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. It is fascinating, and we yeah. so appreciate your take on the future. That's great. Um, the world's fascinating. Yeah, thanks to have, or great to have you in. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.